Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the task states. Okay, when we create a task, it's gonna be in the wait state. It doesn't have to move until there is an activation of this task. If we have an activation, it's like a function, this activation will put this task from the wait state to the ready state. Perfect, and this is activation. Okay, when it's in a ready state, that means it's ready to run, but it does not have the CPU registers. This, when it's ready, it goes to the run. The difference between the ready and run, ready that means it's ready to run, but it does not have the CPU registers. I said it again because that is very important. When it goes to the run state, that means it has the CPU registers. That, that's very important. From the ready to run, this is the start. The, the, the task is starting, it's running. And let's say now we have another uh, task with the highest priority than the task is running right now. So what's gonna happen, it's the task that has the CPU registers goes from the run state to the ready state. And this is the preempt. It's like we forced it to go to the ready state. So the highest priority task is running and when it's done, it goes from the run state to the wait state. And this in this case, it's uh, terminate. Everything is done for this task. Okay, let's wrap it up. That's very important. We have the wait state. It's just when we create a task, nothing happened. It goes to the ready when it's activated. It from the ready to run when it has the CPU registers. That's very important. That path here, it's a context switch. This part also, it's a context switch. Uh, when the task has nothing to do and everything is done it goes from the run state to the wait state in this case we call it terminate i hope you get it if you have any question feel free to ask me take care bye